Other service in Hawaii for three years, but until recently, he's been unheard of. KITV force Brenton Awa gives us the story of the new weatherman that has people talking. While Flossie fizzled, a bright light seems to have emerged from the storm. Meet Mike Canton. Uh, my mom would say the Cantons, we can talk, we could even talk to a tree stump if we wanted to. You may remember his face from recent newscasts, but it's his words and presentation that has people talking. Uh, these aren't just going to be gusty trade winds, uh, these are going to be sustained tropical storm force winds. On Twitter, one person writes, Mike Canton is like the guy. Another says he's articulate and nakamai. On Facebook, the list of positive comments is long. One person says KITV should offer him a job. But Canton says the credit should go to his teammates. Behind the scenes, we've got a great group of folks uh, that are out there keeping the equipment running, making the forecasts, making the important decisions, and then helping me you know, get that information out to you. Understanding Canton's approach to weather forecasting is as simple as hearing where he's from. Stratford, New Hampshire, growing up in a town of just about 2,000 people, molded his approach to life. For me, it's, uh, it's always been about simplicity and how can I make things simple in my mind and then be able to communicate them from there. It also helps to have a background in TV news. Canton put in two years as a meteorologist in Idaho and Wyoming. He later moved from state to state with the National Weather Service until an opening three years ago in Hawaii. The father of four plans to stay here for a while, but don't expect him to swap jobs anytime soon. You don't necessarily want to see me on TV. When you see me, something either bad has happened or is about to happen. So hopefully I can be helpful in sharing the information. But if you don't see me for a while, that's probably a good sign. Brenton Awa, KITV4 News. Articulate and Akamai, we could not agree more. Thanks, Brenton.